Hello and welcome once again to another Flora and the Novice Explorers video. This week we're going to talk about the costs that were involved with converting Flora into a camper van. Yes, all the big scary costs. That includes the purchase of the van and all the materials we used to convert it. Yeah, we also include the accessories that we've put in it and then we also go on to talk about the costs of maintenance and keeping the van on the road and also the tools that we bought along the way. So if you're interested to find out exactly how much we spent, then please feel free to tag along. So let's open our little black book of our expenditure and divulge in how much we spent. But just before that, a quick disclaimer. So this is how we have spent our hard-earned cash in creating a motorhome camper van for ourselves. We were novices, we had very little experiences, and we think that we spent money on quality products and the things that we really wanted. However, it's important to note that you can live the van life for a fraction of the cost of what we spent, but you can also spend a hell of a lot more too if you buy a camper van or motorhome outright. So we think we struck a nice balance, but this is by no means a guide. This is not how much you need to spend at all, because it's quite shocking. <laughs> Do it your own way. Come on. So let's begin with our base vehicle and blank canvas. We found Flora with 80,000 miles on the clock and we fell in love with her almost instantly, but she fit our requirements. We wanted barn doors, long wheelbase and no bulkhead. So we highly suggest that you buy the best base vehicle that you can afford. After all, if you're gonna convert yourselves, you're gonna put hours of work into it and you will fall in love with your van. And you don't really want it to go kaput a few miles down the road due to a mechanical failure and you don't want to just invest all this money into a rust bucket essentially. So we'd always say buy the best you can at the time. However with all that being said we probably spent a little bit more than we intended to. Yes we ended up spending around £11,000 on flora but then the vat was added on top so it ended up being more like 13000 and this was back in 2016. Which is roughly about 5000 more than we However, it truly was love at first sight, so we did everything within our power to make it happen. We saw her, we wanted her, and we made it happen. So Flora was the first thing we bought, completely blew the budget, and it's a sign of things to come. Woo! Materials wise, we spent £2,600, but that's from everything from glue to screws to wood that we built the bed with, to carpet, to ply lining kits. There was plenty on this list that we bought. But at the same time, we did repurpose a few items and we also built a lot of the cupboards out of repurposed pallet wood, which helped keep costs down. So there was a fair few big ticket items on the list, which included £430 being spent on the material for our upholstery, £350 for the insulation and sound deadening, £115 on the ply flooring that we got cut ready to fit, and then £105 on our foam for our pull-out bed. So the total bill for our accessories came to £2,550. So now this might sound like quite a lot, however it covers a huge range of items. All of our cookware, camping gear, bigger items like our roof rack, bike rack, all things that will make our lives a lot more comfortable and easy on our year-long European adventure. So our big ticket accessories include the purchase and fitting of our Planar diesel heater, that was £750. We installed a double swivel seat from Kira Vans, that cost us £290. So our solar setup cost us £250 and our dual leisure batteries cost us £300. So our total spend at this point is... £18,150. But that was spread across the two and a half years that it took us to actually convert the van and we think it's worth every penny. We'll talk about that more later on. However, if we're being honest with ourselves, well, we know that we've probably spent more than we've shown here. So let's discuss and dive into what else we had to spend money on. So we've calculated we've spent around 435 pounds on tools. We were lucky enough to be able to borrow some bigger tools over the couple of years, thanks to family and friends but we started our own little tool kit from scratch. We had a couple of basic tools like screwdrivers, etc., but we needed to start from the bottom. So 
So we've bought a circular saw, a drill, an impact driver, and a very nice little bench. Among other little things, but obviously these will go towards future projects as well, so we can't pin it all on Flora's budget. And there's many people that would have them anyway. Yes. In the two and a half years that it took to convert the van, we have spent over £2,230 on servicing and MOTs. This also includes some big ticket items like our water pump, cam belt, flywheel and clutch. Now you've probably heard of these things that need to be changed and they are sort of routine on a van at a certain point in its life they need to be done. So we paid for all of that upfront for that peace of mind. Yes, getting all of this done at the right time and before we left will hopefully help us stay on the road and not cost us too much money in breakdowns. And if we trained as mechanics, we would know what we're doing to do it ourselves. That would help. But instead, we pay the Wonga. Shout out to Jason and Ollie. So if you're looking to do a van conversion yourself, please do not let our numbers put you off. If we're being completely honest with you, we were both shocked once we totted everything up. However, as we've mentioned, this was spread over the course of about two and a half years. We also shared the costs between us and bought the big ticket items spread out across the years. So it didn't all happen at the same time and we didn't just spend 18 grand willy nilly. Obviously this video has just been a quick overview of the costs. We're gonna link a blog post down below that'll break down exactly where the money went over the period. Yes, our solar setup costs, um, all of the accessories that we bought, everything will be there for you to read if you'd like to. As we said in the disclaimer, there are ways of creating a camper van which are a lot cheaper than the way that we have chosen. And there might be some of you laughing at home and thinking, how have you spent so much money on a van? <laughs> that being said, we are completely at peace with how much we've spent. It's all bought and paid for. It's all done and dusted. And we are very much reaping the rewards. As we speak, it's December the 30th and we're in sunny Portugal. I mean, doesn't get much better than this, does it? Yeah. And living in a tiny home that you have made and created yourself is pretty amazing. So if you'd like to see how we've converted our van, there is a dedicated playlist on our YouTube channel. Subscribe whilst you're there and give our vid a like. Also press the bell button down below, that'll notify you each time we upload a video because there's plenty more to come, I can assure you of that. Also down below will be links to our blog as we said earlier, but also all of our social media links to the Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. If you want to get in contact, just send us a message through one of those portals and uh, we'll receive it and reply in good time. Don't be bashful. <laughs> Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one.